So let's just settle, you know, as best you can into your meditation posture and um, check your feet and your sits bones, shoulders are aligned with the hips and just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light, just lengthen your spine. Just try and settle your mind. Try and bring your mind to the same place your body is. And just take your attention from the crown of your head and just, uh, just let it run through the body, relaxing as you go. Relax the forehead and the face to the back of the head and the jaw and the, relax your back front part of the body and your limbs and you just keep we're not going to go through the meditation this evening just keep the mind focused on the breath as best you can whatever thoughts are arising just allow them to be there and try not to get engaged just try and keep focused on the task at hand and think of all the people of your life and think we'll do this meditation for the benefit of all these people and for then all sentient beings and for ourselves and if there is a person in your life that you wanted to bring next to you just allow them to be in the room with you in the, next to you doing the meditation with you so now think there is no negativity that cannot be purified and this purification process we're doing is basically a psychological one. So there is, we're creating negativity with our mind. So we can equally create positivity with our mind. So just think. The first of the, this is kind of, we do this using this practice in Vatrasattva in the context of the four opponent powers. So the first of these is regret. So you sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you've done to harm any sentient being on this day and this life and in all past lives. So think of spe specific actions of both your body and your speech and then in general um, you can regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. So we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions, and so having harmed others, we will necessarily experience suffering in the future. So we know from our present suffering that any more suffering might just be a little bit too much for our minds. So logically, it makes sense that we would remove these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So you think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering. And you can also regret any anger, attachment, and the rest of the cause of why we harm others. And these are our delusions. And think, I'm just sick of this suffering. So who can I turn to? So we um, rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods we can use to purify. And it's not that we need the Buddha to forgive us. We purify ourselves by relying upon his methods. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. And you can also imagine this is your teacher, your trusted mentor, your spiritual advisor, however you see them, manifesting in this form for your benefit. And he's made of radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. So this lotus, although born out of mud, is untainted by that mud. Just as like an analogy for our, our potential, our enlightened potential, born out of our delusions, but yet untainted by them. And he has this beautiful radiant face. His eyes are long, shaped like lotus petals and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. 
He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents the union of these two. And this symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajra Sattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings, the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of someone you may have harmed recently and then perhaps someone who may have harmed you. And particularly for those people who've um, given you some harm. Have a a moment of compassion for them, although maybe it's a bit difficult, but just try. Because the harm they've caused you is going to manifest the suffering for them in the future. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the actual medicine doing the practice of purification. So... We start with the body. So Vajrasattva, imagine, very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, like coming out of a hose. You can imagine a waterfall or even, you know, when you're standing in the shower, you can do this practice. It's just pouring in through the crown of your head from his heart. And it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices or the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dido Meboa Zutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anaracta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajama Me Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dido Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anaracta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata So again, be delighted. All the harm you've ever done to any sentiment with your body is completely purified. I think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So next is a purification of speech. 
And Bajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra, again, forcefully entering, entering your crown, except this time filling your entire body and forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech, and this overflows and disappears into space. So you can imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, getting other people to agree with you. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahum Pe Am Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Mibawa, Sawa Sidi, Mimpi Yata, Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata, Vajra Mami Mutsa, Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya, Sata Ahom Pe, and Bajra Sapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dita Mibawa, Sutokaya Mibawa, Sipokaya Mibawa, Anarakta Mibawa, Sawa Sidi, Mimpi Yata, Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata Ahom Pe, and Bajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dita Mibawa, Sutokaya Mibawa, Sipokaya Mibawa, Anarakta Mibawa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata Ahom Hompe, and Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Dida Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Supokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa, Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe, and Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Dida Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Supokaya Kaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa, Maha Samaya Sata Ahom Pe, and Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Dida Meboa, Sito Kaya Meboa, Sipo Kaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa, Maha Samaya Sata Ahom Pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech. So next is the purification of the mind and Vajrasattva very compassionately again, very happily sends powerful beams of laser light this time from his heart chakra. And this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a pitch black room, you just flick on the switch. So rather than thinking of turning on the light, think instead of dispelling darkness, because that's actually what's happening. And it's the same thing here. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your, uh, you know, depression and attachment and neediness and grasping and anger and bitterness and resentment and jealousy and all these things are instantly dispelled, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahom Pe And Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa 
Anarectamibua, Sawa Sidi Mimpi, Yatsa Sawa, Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuruhum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagoan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajamame, Mutsa Vajabawa, Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hompe, and Vajasapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajasapa Dina Patita, Dida Mibua, Sutokaya Mibua, Supokaya Mibua, Anarectamibua, Sawa Sidi Mimpi, Yatsa Sawa, Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuruhum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagoan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajamame Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe Ambajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mipi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bagoan Sawa Tata Gata Vajamame Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe Ambajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Tida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mipi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bagoan Sawa Tata Gata Vajamame Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe Ambajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Tida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mipi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bagoan Sawa Tata Tata Gata Vajamame Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe Ambajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Supokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajamame Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe so again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering, are delusions. And the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech are totally purified. And think now, there's no space in your heart for anything other than love, kindness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So the next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. So you can imagine this time Vajrasattva sending light and nectar and this fills you completely and just imagine it's eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind so it's just i mean the way they say is it's just like removing an extra wash so it's almost like removing the smell of garlic from a jar as you recite the mantra Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajamame Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum ha 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 ho bagawan sawa tata gata vajamame mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata ahompe ambajasapa samaya manupalaya vajasapa dina patita dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan sawa tata gata vajamame mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata ahompe ambajasapa samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe Ambajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahompe Ambajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Dida Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, 
Sitam Shriam Kuruham, ha 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 ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pei, Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dida Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Supokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Siddhi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuruham, ha 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 ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pain. So just imagine, really try and feel this. You're completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your omniscience have been removed. So now we come to the power of resolve. And this is the fourth step in the purification process. And it's a really crucial one. This is where we make a determination to not harm with our body and our speech and our mind. And it's not going to be again ever again because we do have habits and we're human and we have patterns of survival and some of those patterns are harmful to ourselves and others so we've got to make a decision that we're going to work on something because without this decision to sort of refrain from harming ourselves and others we are going to keep doing the same stuff over and over again just because of well we're human so this determination, this aspiration is like a beacon that guides our body and our speech and our mind in new directions. So just think of something. Maybe you talk about people behind their back. So it's simply you could say, well, I just won't do it between tonight, 10 o'clock and, you know, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning or whenever it is you get up because I'm going to be asleep. So just keep keep it really simple. Keep the timeline short make it doable, make it manageable, and then you'll get confidence in yourself because you'll be achieving these baby, baby goals. Okay. So Vajrasattva, imagine, is delighted with us, wanting to merge with our mind, melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown. And think, Vajrasattva's, uh, my, my guru's body, speech, and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind are the same thing. And so Rinpoche does recommend a little meditation on emptiness. So you can think in emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. And you can also think maybe the way I'm perceiving the world, the way I see things, the way I hear things, may not necessarily be the way they actually exist, the way I smell things. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this purification to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And some long life prayers. For his holiness, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso I beseech, May all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Sopa Rinpoche, O Tub Shul Chang Shin Jam Gon Galloway, Ten Zing Kyong Pelloway, Kun Dog Poor Zay, Chog Sum Kur Leg Mon to Drum. Ha dog sog do leje gon do jab ten shog. The Lama Ursul, then number one, to whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors for those wanderers and far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And for Geshe Shara, beloved teacher, leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Okay, everybody. Thank you so very much. Thank you for Venerable, 